Sunday Brunch with Bob and Ray. Third time's a fucking charm. Hey, 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 brunchies. Welcome to our very last episode of season four. And we have a great guest today. We do. And we're getting ready to close out an entire year of podcasting. Can you believe it? It's awesome. An entire year. Oh it's, my gosh. I can't believe we actually made it a whole year. Right. I feel like we could do this for 20 more years. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. I That's feel, cool. It's kind of a treat every week to get to hang out and just like decompress a little bit. And even though like putting together a podcast takes a lot of work, it's still like a getaway from my everyday normal shit. Yeah. Same here. Same here. I look forward to taping yeah. day. It's like two people coming together, laughing at each other, having fun. Yeah. So you guys do know that I always ask Bobby a question so the audience can get to know us better. And this week, I have kind of a two-part question. Since it is the end of the year, this is our last episode of the year, basically. I want to know, what is the naughtiest and nicest moments of your entire year? My naughtiest would probably be when I called somebody a bitch like straight to their face hey <laughs> <laughs> but she said I am yeah and she said I am she took it yeah, yeah. She, she was a bitch she enjoyed being called a bitch I, I think know a little bit. I think just you a know. little bit yeah and to be honest it's not like she's the nicest person anyway right she's definitely on the naughty list yeah yeah she's this on, the naughty, on list. the naughty list we will not mention she drug me down to her level we will not mention names, no. but she's definitely on Santa. She's on Santa's naughty, naughty list. Let's hope. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's your nicest moment? Well, I have to say the podcast. I have to say the podcast. Starting this whole thing and getting a platform where we can talk about local events, um, businesses, uh, be positive. The podcast is on one of my nice things too for the year. Because I feel like we come together and we make it okay to not take everything so serious. And that's really hard for some people to like laugh at themselves, to laugh at each other, to poke fun, to take things a little too far without getting your feelings hurt and know that we still love each other and have fun together. And that's all it is. Yeah. And I look forward to taping days so much. So that's definitely one of my nicest moments. Yeah. Yeah. My naughty moment, I kind of feel like isn't really a naughty moment, though. Like, the one thing that stood out the when I wrote that rebuttal to the paper. Uh-huh. Like, I, I don't think it was... Because there was a lot of backlash over that. Yeah, I don't think it was naughty of me to do it, necessarily. I actually think it needed to be done. Yeah. Um, and I still stand behind it 100%, but there was a lot of backlash that came with that that I have had to endure <laughs> for the last six months. And so... If I could take it back, I probably wouldn't. But at the same time, like, I just know that it caused a lot of ripples. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. But definitely. It it needed to be done. It needed to be done, and somebody had to do it. So whether or not, I mean, you weren't out to hurt anybody's feelings, honestly. No, I wasn't. But I do have an update. Last week, I had a positive prediction that all my pots would come out of the kiln in one piece. And the most beautiful pot, the only one I made specifically for myself. Is the one that didn't come out. It, the kiln brick grew up into my pot. That's crazy. I've yeah. never heard of Mike that Mike said before. it doesn't happen very often. And when Dandy came over the other night, she said, I've not ever seen that. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, maybe it's a lesson. Maybe it's a lesson to not count your chickens before they hatch and to kind of, you know, find a way to grieve over this pot and then let it go. Right. You right. know what I mean? It was, right. It's been a crazy year. And it was it's the best pot year. out of all of them. It was like the coolest, awesome. It has the best texture. It's got like this iridescence in the bottom and it's unusable. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, you know, that's yeah, fun. Shit happens. We did get quite a few responses on the naughty or nice list. Oh, okay. That's awesome. Um, Let's hear about this. So, Leah 
she said from Closet Confidence, she said that she's on the naughty list because she likes to scare kids on purpose. <laughs> oh, I love that. And she hasn't put up a Christmas tree. And she also did want to tell you, Bobby, that Die Hard is absolutely a Christmas movie. Oh, okay. How do you feel about so that? So that same old thing again, right? How do you feel? Three weeks in a row. <laughs> I know. Everyone's like, it is a Christmas movie. <laughs> I think you're outnumbered. I think so, but I'm still standing behind it's not. And Stevie, he says he's always naughty. <laughs> that I totally understand. I would agree with that. I can yeah. see how he would always be naughty. Yeah, but that's part of his personality. Well, our friend Riley, she said, well, why does it have to be either? Why can't it just be a little bit of both? Oh, a little naughty, a little nice? A little naughty, a little nice, depending on the day. Oh, okay, Riley. I little see naughty, you. A little naughty, a little nice. It adds I some see spice. You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> spice. That's a lot of spice. Yeah, and then your friend Nancy. My friend Nancy says she's naughty and nice also. I'm, I was doing really good on that nice list. Then I just got shut down. You got shut down. Shut the fuck down. Hey, it happens sometimes, man. I still am going to say what I said last week, and I think I'm on the, I think I'm on the nice list. I mean, really, it has I've, to be. I've done a lot this year for the community. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like I have really worked hard and it's been exhausting, but whatever. And hopefully, with our guest today, you'll hear about another nice thing going on in town. So that's cool. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, well, you guys do know where to get a hold of us. It's our Gmail, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, br brand new Spotify, and other platforms at. Sunday brunch with Bob and Ray. And we want more emails from you guys. It is the Christmas season, so I know that you're all busy doing your thing, filling in, like getting Christmas presents ready and shopping. Um, but, you know, we still like to hear from you and hear how your holidays are going. So send us a message. Yeah, and buy some merch for your friends for Christmas. Yeah, we um, only have, I think, two of the orange short sleeves left. Yeah. And then my present to you is on its way on its way it is and i can't wait to see it oh my gosh it's Cannot gonna be crazy wait to see how these turned out i did some custom stuff for bob and ray so and i got this awesome bowl oh yeah you got a bowl too yeah i got an awesome bowl so yeah not not a lot of people have come and picked up their bowls Oh. But my friend Jan, I gave her her bowl last night, and she really liked it. And it was the tiniest bowl that came out of all my pots. Oh. It's like the, I don't know, you maybe put like two lifesavers Oh, in it. really? <laughs> yeah, it's so small. <laughs> but it's so cute. Yeah, and it's it not taking up her, a lot of room. It fits yeah. her personality. You oh, know? awesome. Like, I love Jan. She's amazing. I love Jan, too. Um, is there anything else that you want to say? Or do you have a New Year's resolution? Or No, we'll get to that in a minute. Well, then do you want to take a quick little break and then sure. we'll be back with our guest? Yeah. We're going to get pumped up during the break. Pump, pump, pump it up. <laughs> We're having so a tough time today. We'll huh? see you in a tick, in a tick, in a tick of time. After you refill your drinks. <laughs> Oh, who's that? A brand new guest. Hi, Aubrey. Hello. How are you doing today? Good. 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 Aubrey works at Sweet Zoe's that used to be up at the Sunrise Shopping Center. Mm -hmm. And Gary and I went there the other day, and we just missed her. We went at three. And we just missed her. But we did get to see an interview with Caitlin O'Shaughnessy and Channel 2 News. Yeah, you sent me that picture, and I'm like, what is going on? I'm like, like where we, are you at? Yeah, we just went to lunch, and we get to watch this whole production go on. So what was going on there last week? They were interviewing Zoe. Her name is actually Zoe, right? Yes, her name is Zoe. I love the baklava there. That's the only thing I've ever had. Their euros are great. The hummus is great. The, What's I your love, favorite thing? I love the leffa. Leffa beef. What's leffa? It, it's like beef with onions in it i mean it's hard to explain uh-huh it's like pulled beef oh, shredded nice. beef oh okay shredded okay. beef with onions in it and just some spices and all kinds of goodies nice. I, I, what kind of olive oil do they use because that stuff is buttery and delicious we use all kinds of oils dark light oh really yeah because what's in that salad is just amazing well that's like, homemade dressing 
Yeah. That's a homemade dressing, yes. Yeah. Everything's homemade there, though, isn't it? Yes, everything is homemade. Yeah. Besides the naan, but how could you make naan, really? Right. Naan's delicious. I love naan. It's good stuff. Well, speaking of food, this is a brunch show, so what's your favorite brunch food? Do you do brunch? I do brunch very rarely. <laughs> okay, so what would you have if you were going to order something for brunch? Eggs, French toast. I do like French toast and a mimosa. Ooh, there you mimosas. go. Those, they really go together. Have you ever heard of a pineapple mimosa? Yeah. yeah they're good. I've never had one, though. No. What about a man-mosa? A man-mosa. Do you know what that is? I do not. That's a mimosa with a shot of vodka. Ooh. So it like ups the alcoholic level. So it's level. more manly. Yeah. But you know what? A pineapple man mosa would probably be really good. Ooh, yes. I bet it would too. You throw some raspberries in there, mm-hmm. or like an orange slice or something. Uh huh. So like a raspberry pineapple vodka mimosa. Ooh. Oh my gosh. We're trying that one of these days. Yeah. Like, we're doing it. How do you order that? <laughs> <laughs> you just walk in and you say, I would like a pineapple man mosa with raspberries. <laughs> I don't know all. if anybody would know what we're talking about, no. but we could start a trend. Yeah, exactly. We could totally start a trend. Have you had the man mosa? Gosh, but you could go to Zoe's. I mean, they have coffee. All they, kind. Oh, gosh, bagels. So you guys are open in the morning then, too. Yes, open at 7 a.m. Oh, dang. 7 to 8, Monday through Friday. I didn't realize you guys were open in the morning. Yeah. And then 7 to 4 on Saturday. Yeah, so you can... Do you serve, like, the bagels all day? Yeah. Oh, see? And those breakfast We have sandwich? breakfast bagels and we have lunch bagels. Oh, really? Does it switch over? You can do it all day. We only do breakfast till 11. Oh, okay. Do you like the new location? I do. It's is a really good spot. Is it? Yeah. I've driven by and I've seen it. It looks really open. That's where like that, um, it used to be like a vending, a flower vending place. Keeves. So you, yeah. Oh, so it used to be Keeves? It was a flower place, but I remember they had like a vending machine outside for flowers. Where you could buy was, flowers like 24-7. Yeah, it was the only t- time I'd ever seen a flower vending booth. Yeah. I thought it was cool. It is cool. It's super cool. You guys get busy with all the NC kids that come down oh, there during lunch? We really do get busy, yes. That's yeah, awesome. you guys have a lot of foot traffic from them, huh? Yes, it's a great location. Heck yeah. yeah. Well, there was another place down there kind of by NC. It was the Grab and Go Gourmet. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, yeah that's unfortunate. They went out of business, which is, I came across them yesterday again on Facebook, and I'm like, why are they still showing me this ad? Right, it sucks. It makes me sad. <laughs> me too. It does, but I'm glad that you guys have moved away from... I feel like at the Sunrise Shopping Center, it was so far away. Yeah, nobody knew. Yeah. Nobody realized we yeah. were there. It was way out there. Yeah. The only time I even knew that you guys were there was because I had my hair done at the hair salon that was like kind of next door. And I was like, what is this place? Yeah, she didn't have a sign or anything up there at Sunrise. Yeah. Oh, really? Huh. Well, I'm glad you guys moved. Yeah, she's, get more foot traffic. she's kicking butt. And she's only 32, Zoe. So is she from Casper? No, they're from Iraq. That's cool. So, so it's, it's authentic. Yeah, Very it's authentic. authentic. It's like more Middle Middle, middle Eastern. Yeah, Other Middle th- Eastern, not Mediterranean, which is more Greek style. Right. I'm going there. I'm hungry. I know. Those, th- that, <laughs> that Euro meat, I just can't get enough of lamb and meat, lamb and beef. You love Euros. Though. I love Euros. You get them everywhere. And hummus. Um, Aubrey told me she's allergic to hummus. I found no. that out. By working there. Uh Uh-uh. She'd have to taste it. That is the saddest thing I've ever heard. It's pretty sad. Yeah. What happened? I got hives all over my mid area. (laughs) Could you breathe? Yeah. It didn't affect my throat. Just got hives. At least you didn't have to get an F. You should get an EpiPen work in there. I should. Just in case, man. Like, my husband's allergic to shellfish, and every time he comes in contact with it, it gets a little worse. Like, his reaction gets a little worse. And so he has to carry an EpiPen everywhere he goes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Not a bad plan. I've never seen it happen, but he was at work once, and he didn't call me because he works out of town. And he always calls me, like, at the same time of day. And he didn't call. He didn't call. I started getting worried. I'm like... What the hell? And then finally at like midnight, he's like, yeah, sorry, uh, I ate a shrimp egg roll. <laughs> and oh, had to shit. Go to the doctor. And I was like, what? Like, somebody cooked it for him, and he thought it was not a seafood egg roll, but it was. Oh, my gosh. I did the same thing. What did I you do? You tried to kill him with those 
jalapeno poppers. Yeah, that had <laughs> shrimp in them. Yeah. And you're like, just try it, Ian. Just try it. Yeah. He's like, no. It won't kill you. It right? would have killed him. <laughs> That's the thing. He would have probably just like had Whatever. anaphylactic shock. I would have been like, Bobby, you're EpiPenning him. <laughs> right in the neck. <laughs> in the thigh. Oh, I don't care. I'd still do it in the neck. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. It goes straight to the brain. So, Aubrey, are you on the naughty or nice list this year? Oh, I'm always on the nice list. See? Oh, really? Yes. That's awesome. how I feel, too. I'm always on the nice list. Oh, I always think of myself badly, and then... I do some naughty things, but that doesn't make me naughty. Right. Exactly. You know? It's just the things you do, right? Do you have like a naughtiest or nicest moment of the year? <laughs> no. <laughs> it <Yes>. varies. <laughs> yeah. I was like, uh, of a year? It's a hard question. It, it is. is. It is a hard question. Well, I have a would you rather. Okay, go for it. Would you rather receive one big present for Christmas or 10 small ones? One big one. One big one? Me too. One big one. I would rather have a big one. It shows more meaning and more... Yeah. Like, you know the person a little more than 10 just random things. I think, right. too, the small things, they end up, like, going to the landfill, or they're, like, things you don't remember, or that aren't, like you said, as special. Right, right. I agree 100% on all that. Plus, it's fun to open, like, one big present. Yes. Yes. Like a car or something. <laughs> that would be awesome. A side-by-side. A scooter. Ooh. A scooter. <laughs> oh god one of these days you'll get to unwrap a, a scooter. scooter wouldn't that be cool there's a nice dream yeah that'd be nice so i have a would you rather would you rather eat a whole turkey in one setting or never be able to have turkey again eat a whole turkey in one setting yeah Heck i like yeah. turkey i'd have to just eat a whole turkey not me i would just never eat turkey again Really? Oh. I'd probably sleep for three days. Yeah. There's a hormone in turkey that makes you tired. Oh my gosh, I know this too. Like, there's no, you know the name of the hormone? Yeah. What is it? I... Tryptophan? Yeah. Tryptophan, wow. Tryptophan, that's exactly it. I think it. somebody's going to be good at trivia. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> I hope my trivia questions are good enough. Well, man, I'll <laughs> tell you what, I would sleep for like three days, so I would rather just not eat turkey. And poop a lot of yeah. meat. Get the, <laughs> get the meat sweats, get, get, but it'll the, be worth it. The turkey shits. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds nice. Yeah. Oh, so God. after that, if you eat one whole turkey in one setting, does that mean the rest of the time you eat turkey, you could just have like a, a regular, a yeah, just a regular size. Well, I might go that way then. Yeah, because you don't want to like totally cut out turkey. But and I definitely don't want to only eat a whole turkey whenever I eat turkey. Oh, no, you wouldn't have to eat a whole turkey every I time might you eat turkey. eat a whole turkey once. You're right. And then be okay. Right. But, you know, turkeys come in various sizes. It could be a five or six pound turkey, you know, one of those small ones. And it's mostly bone. Take a drink. Party fell. I don't even have, I'll take a drink of my Dr. Pepper. <laughs> take Bam Dr. Bam. Pepper drink. Well, would you guys rather have candy canes for legs or gumdrops for eyes? Gun drops for eyes. Candy but canes what, don't bend. No, either. so you'd be like, ah, I broke my candy cane. <laughs> Instead of, I broke my leg, you'd be like, ah, I broke my candy cane again. Oh, you poked my gummy drop or whatever. Uh, my gum drop. <laughs> my gum bear. Yeah, I accidentally poked myself with the gun drop. Yeah. Gum <laughs> Would you have to wear glasses on top of your gumdrops? I don't think you'd be able to see if you had gumdrops for eyes. Oh, yeah. And you wouldn't be able to bend your legs if you had candy canes for legs. I'm going with... It's like having no elbows. Like oh, that thing we talked about not having elbows. El not having elbows would really suck. <laughs> not having <laughs> knees would really suck. Yeah, so I'm going to go with the candy cane legs you because candy cane legs. I want to see... Well, what color would your candy canes be? Red and white? Or would they be like the rainbow color or the blue and white swirl with the gold? Ooh, blue and gold sounds cool. Yeah. What would you do? I'd do the gumdrop eyes. I'd do the gumdrop eyes. Because I don't want any dogs chasing around me and trying to lick my legs. <laughs> <laughs> or kids. Or kids, yeah. Or kids. yeah <laughs> chasing me around. Yeah. You smell good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Speaking of that, though... Would you rather smell like turkey or gravy all the time? Oh, gravy. Yeah. Turkey. Gravy has like a mustiness. It, it could be like a Gucci scent. 
gravy. Gucci gravy. <laughs> there uh, you go. Eau de toilette gravy. <laughs> <laughs> Is it chicken, turkey, or beef gravy? Uh, it could be. Uh, or country pepper gravy. Ooh. Ooh. Like good. sausage gravy, that would be a good. Walk into my bathroom and I just have an assortment of gravy uh, perfumes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Today I'm country gravy. Country gravy. Today I'm wearing the old day chicken gravy. <laughs> I'm gonna wear plaid. I'll go country gravy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think that's the way to go. Oh, okay. So you could smell like various gravies. Yeah. Yeah, it they like, just smell like turkey because like, yeah. then the dog would be licking right. your leg all the time and be like, wow, wow, wow. But you could have like a maple brown sugar glazed turkey scent or a peppered turkey scent or a smoky, a bourbon turkey scent. <laughs> a, a bourbon turkey. <laughs> hey, you never know. Yeah, you never know. I'm going with gravy. I, I'm going to go with gravy. I'm changing my answer to gravy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be wearing flannel a lot. <laughs> yeah. With their country gravy smell. Do you have any like places that you like to go in Casper? To eat or to do things? Just or? to do something. Like, do you have a favorite little boutique or like somebody here locally that you like to support? No. Or no. do you do kids' activities since you have two kids? Yeah, usually always doing kid activities. Like what? Like they love the jump craze. Oh, okay. The nice. trampoline park. Yeah. 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 Speaking of trampolines, this week there was a trampoline blowing down over the street. I saw that yeah. video. It was, tra- yeah. it was just like end over end, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. Like it has been windy as shit in Casper. Oh my gosh, it's been crazy. The um, shingles have blown off our house. Today I dropped some stuff off because so when I got there, one of the guys was leaving because a sign had blown off and hit another guy in the head. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is, I think the Weather Channel said we had gusts of up to 118 <laughs> miles oh, an I'm hour. Oh, not, I'm not doubting that. Our neighbors just got a new roof and her roof's coming off. Dang. She just got a new roof like a month and a half ago Dang. and it's blown off, so friend of mine i saw a picture on facebook and she lives out in bar none and you couldn't even see her front door or her garage it was completely covered in tumbleweeds, tumbleweeds. yep i went there and saw that it's did it's you go crazy. see it yeah i had to go see it oh, they're wow. covering the whole house up to the garage yeah. oh wow they should make one of those tumbleweed christmas trees out there have you seen those things where it's real big and they get all the tumbleweeds and they like tie them together in this big ass christmas tree no i haven't seen that they should do that <laughs> in bar none well first you'd have to chase down the tumble weeds in this wind. Well, the wind has to fun. stop, yeah. Well, yeah. I don't think you'd have to chase them down. You just go to these houses and collect them. Oh, okay. Hey, can we have your tumbleweeds? Can you imagine waking up in the morning, opening your front door, and you just see, like, a wall oh, of tumbleweeds shit. 12 foot high? Well, you see them, like, when you're driving, a tumbleweed will fly across the road, and they're not small. No. They're, like, three feet tall. They're huge. Yep. Some of them are very big. They yeah. go as fast as a car, too. Oh, yeah. It's passing you. You're like, fuck you, tumbleweed. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't signal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just running you over. <laughs> yeah. Screw you, tumbleweed. Yeah. Take that, tumbleweed. Yeah, but I don't like hitting them because then they're caught under your car forever. <laughs> You're one of those people driving and it's sticking under your muffler. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, he must live in bar nine. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Need four-wheel drive for your tumbleweed. Good God. Well, you ready to take a quick break and then do trivia? I am. How is your trivia skills? Yeah, pretty good. Good, good. I stayed up till this morning. <laughs> Again. <laughs> yeah, again. Some days I just can't sleep. And this wind got me. Oh, yes. I, I, I. It's, yeah, you, where you live, holy cow. It is straight through south, and our wind our whistles through the door cracks, and yeah. it feels like my house is going to shake apart. You feel it shaking. Yep. Yeah, we physically feel our house shaking, too. It sucks. So, do 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 trivia. How many ghosts appear to Scrooge in a Christmas tree? Three. Show? In the movie, It's a Wonderful Life, what happens every time a bell rings? An angel gets his wings. (laughs) I love you. (laughs) What gift did the little drummer boy give to newborn Jesus? I'd say a drum. 
Is that too obvious? Yeah, that's way obvious. But oh, ads. <laughs> I don't know what I'm reading. Um, ads for what product were banned from TV on January 1st, 1971? I can't even make a guess. What's the number? What is the number one? God damn. <laughs> I can't believe this is so tough. What is the number one New Year's resolution? To lose weight. Okay. Oh, there she is. Ray! You've already done. Yeah. That was bad. I, it was hard for me, dude. This one, I'm like, uh, uh, you're going to have to edit the shit out of that. Yeah, you couldn't spit the words out. Yeah, I couldn't spit them out. You having a hard time packing? Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm kind of nervous for trivia uh, yeah. today because I've got idiot brain. How many ghosts appear in A Christmas Carol to Ebenezer Scrooge? Three. In the movie, It's a Wonderful Life, what happens every time a bell rings? An angel gets its wings, Daddy. You guys, you guys said that the same. We you did. Said it the same. An angel gets its wings. I love that movie. What gift did the little drummer boy give to newborn Jesus? Um, man, a drumstick. A <laughs> drumstick. Take this. <laughs> You're a baby. It's good for you. Yeah. You can poke your gumdrop out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give that to Jesus. I'll poke his gumdrop out. <laughs> he needs both eyes. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one I had the trouble with. Ads for what product were banned from TV on January 1st, 1971? Cigarettes? Good answer. What's the number one New Year's resolution? Does this have to do with fat shaming? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say losing weight or okay. getting healthier. All right, girls. How many ghosts appear in the Christmas Carol? Four. Oh, what? What is it? The ghosts of Christmas? Past. Past. Present. Future. Present. Future. Yeah. And himself? No. Did you get it right? I said three. Oh, maybe it's his, uh, uh, like his old helper, or whatever. He said three ghosts. Jacob will... Marley. Yeah, Jacob Marley. Oh, because he right. says three ghosts you're will visit right. you, and he's a ghost and at he's the a time. Ghost too. Yes, that makes total sense. It's Jacob Marley at the beginning. So you guys both said no points. No you both points. said three. I know we both got this one. In the movie, it's a wonderful life. An angel gets <laughs> its wings. I forgot, Daddy. Oh, wait, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I want more than wings from Daddy. <laughs> what gift did the little drummer boy give to newborn Jesus? He played his drums for him. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So he gave him the gift of music. music. Yeah, he drums. So you guys What'd don't. What'd you get say, it. Aubrey? I said a drum. She said oh. a drum. Is that too obvious? <laughs> hey, between the two of us, we got drum and drumstick. And a gum drum. So we were on. getting there. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to give Jesus the drum playing. <laughs> We're working on that, okay? Um, what product was banned from TV on January 1971? Cigarettes. Yay, what did you say? I had no she answer. Had no, she's like, no guess. I no remember guess. when that went, well, I wasn't alive when that went down, but I remember reading about how they weren't allowed to advertise in anything other than magazines, and then eventually they got that taken away, too. Yeah, they got <laughs> magazines Makes you wonder, why can pharma advertise on TV? Oh, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? And not just that. That's a lot of money to be spending for a real narrow field of people. They're like, you know, try this and mm -hmm. try that and ask your doctor about this. Well, if only you have like large B cells, blah, 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 you know, cancer or whatever. This one product will work for this. I saw this one hundred people that get it. Sky Rizzi the other yeah. day, and it's like you can clear up your skin if you have this kind of psoriasis with this type of pharma. And then at the end, it's like it may cause bleeding out your butthole, your eyes may be sore, you can die, you yeah. can get blood clots. Don't take it if you are pregnant, nursing, and you're like. And Dude, most people die. I would I would much rather have shitty skin than have to deal with like constant diarrhea or what, constipation. What gets me is they always say, don't take this product if you're allergic to it. How the hell are you supposed know. to know until well, you yeah. take it? And then you take it, you're allergic to it, okay? And then you're like again, oh, let's try it again. Uh. You just talk to your doctor. Yeah, just talk to your doctor. <laughs> yeah. I just wonder, you, you know? know? 
I would rather see cigarette ads because usually they have like dudes with nice butts, like. Um, oh, they're the Marlboro too. Man. Yes, the yeah. no shirts. Yeah. yeah. And they're interesting, too. So Jacob, when he was in junior high, was doing this report. And I went in, and I opened his desk, and I'm not kidding you. He had, like, this folder of old cigarette ads. Oh, wow. And there was one probably from, like, the 1960s. It was an African-American, and he's, like, got these big white teeth, and he's just smiling, holding his cigarette, and he's, like, Chesterfield, a taste that satisfies or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was just, like, the funniest thing to find in my kid's desk, like a stack of ci old cigarette, cigarette advertisements. Ads. Yeah, but it, they were all cool. Some of them had, like, beautiful pinup girls, like, just the array of cigarette ads was really interesting. Oh, I bet. I bet. And, yeah, you're young and beautiful and smoking. You know, you're yeah. young and beautiful. Yeah, like Audrey Hepburn in um, Breakfast at Tiffany's. God dang, that movie. Have you movie. seen that movie? I have, have not. You, you, have you ever seen Breakfast at Tiffany's? I haven't. You have to watch yeah, it. Yeah, it will make you want a cigarette, I swear to God. Really? You, yeah, there's not one scene, no one's smoking, oh, first shit. of all. And then there's a scene where they're having a party in her house or whatever. It's just like a cloud of smoke. A cloud of smoke. Every person, like 40 people, have cigarettes. And the only one that doesn't have one lights one up. You know what I mean? I'm like, <laughs> holy crap. The one girl, or I think it's Audrey Hepburn, starts burning that lady's hair. Yeah, with the cigarette. <laughs> yeah. she's got one of those long ass And she's all, yeah, yeah, and yeah. she burns this lady's hair. You gotta watch that show. It's good. Right. It is a good show. It really You'd is. Like it. It's a really good show. She's beautiful in she it. Is. Oh, yeah. I mean, she's beautiful, stunning. Mm -hmm. What's the number one New Year's resolution? You both got this. It's to lose weight or exercise. Ta da! Is that it? Yep. Oh, man. I only won by one point. Yeah. If you would have got cigarettes, we would have been... had to go to a tiebreaker. Yeah. Aww. Or I played a song for him. Pa, ra, pa, pa, pa. So, really, the drummer boy gave him a song. Yeah. I never realized he was playing for Jesus. Me either. I guess I didn't listen to that song very well. Me either. Well, it's kind of in the words, right? <laughs> yeah. You got to hear it. Apparently, too, you know? I didn't listen to the words, man. You know. <laughs> I got more important things to do when I'm listening to the little drummer boy. Yeah, exactly. Poking out gumdrop. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. It's so time for I, our new segment, Bobby's favorite segment. <laughs> Positive <laughs> predictions. <laughs> that wasn't as good as your one. No, it's not positive enough. He did an intro that was really good. I did one He's really good intro. He's never been able to duplicate no. it. No it duplication. Awesome. We should cut it out mm. so I can put it every time. Well, instead of positive prediction, we should do a positive New Year's resolution. Yeah, let's do a positive New Year's Since resolution. This is the last. Bobby episode. gotta lose weight. I was looking in the mirror today when I got in the shower, and I'm like, holy fuck, I'm shaped like Humpty fucking Dumpty. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put me on a wall because I'm gonna fall <laughs> off. Your man. legs are so tiny too. Yeah, my legs are tiny, and I've got this like big gut thing <laughs> going on. I look like Humpty Dumpty. I swear to God. Except your eyeballs are on your head and not your belly. Yeah, that's true. My, you my... could paint eyeballs on your nipples and then you'd really look like Humpty. Yeah, and put like a mouth on my belly Whoa. button. <laughs> You've seen those, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh my. That's me. That's totally my body shape. Humpty Dumpty. So you want to lose some weight? Yeah, that's that's a good one. What do you want to do for your new, new Year's resolution? I know that I can't probably fully quit smoking, but I would love to I'll cut to back. Quit smoking, yeah. I want to quit, but I need to start with cutting back. It's so hard. This is one of the hardest things I ever did. Yes. Was cigarettes. You know what I mean? Like, it's for me, it's not even like the smoking, I think, or like the addiction to nicotine. It was like when I needed a break. A like break. Like a mental from break, life. I yeah. would go smoke. Yeah. When I needed a break, I would take a time out when I needed just a second to think about something or regroup. I would take a time out and I always smoked a cigarette. And that was like my excuse to do that, man. I'm thinking that the garage door could blow in at any moment. I know I just probably already did. <laughs> That's next. I mean, really what else could happen? Right. I shouldn't say it out loud because it will knock on wood. Yeah. I that's not a positive prediction. <laughs> no, that's a negative prediction, and those aren't allowed. <laughs> I have a like positive New Year's resolution. Oh. I'm going to start saying no to projects that don't inspire me. Good. Absolutely. Gary had a hard time saying no for a while, but then he just got so backlogged, he's like, finally, screw it. No, I can't You know, work on your car. Well, I have this amazing thing of geodes and stalactites 
like staring at me and I can't make them because I don't have time. Right, you have to work on other things. Yeah, and I don't like that. So I'm going to start saying no to projects that don't inspire me. I'm going to start saying yes to our merch. Yeah, yeah. We need to get that merch out there. Mm-hmm. You know, we're completely out of just about everything except for our new merch. Right. We sold some the other night, too, so that's cool. We did. We got a couple of new followers also the other night. Uh, that's cool. I know. We, on this last episode, had 204 downloads. Isn't nice. That wild? That's crazy, huh? Yeah, and people share. Please share. 204, though. Yeah. On all of our platforms combined, that is... We started with five listeners at the beginning of the year. Wow. That, that is, is amazing. We're sitting in a shop just ch- chatting and shooting the shit. Yeah, just shoot the shit. We just shoot the shit. <laughs> shoot the shit. Aubrey, you're awesome. I love you so much. I love you too. Yeah, thanks Aww. for coming. You're welcome. She's been nervous. She was nervous, but you can't tell. We're going to have to have her back. Loosen her up a little bit. Yeah, exactly. We're going to have to feed her a man mosa, pineapple style. Loosen her up. There oh. you go. I almost asked if there were beers here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there are right in the fridge. There's some ranch water, some Miller Lite, and other assorted beers. Ranch water, want. right, Leah? <laughs> yeah. That ranch water is good. I don't care what no one says. Yeah, it's, and it's pretty only good. 80 calories. Wow. Have you had the ranch water? Never even heard of it. It's better than White Claw. And it seems yeah. a little more manly. It's a seltzer type thing. Okay. The prickly pear one is good. The prickly pear really is good. good. That sounds good. It's really yeah. good. And there's it's a grapefruit good. one. And the original is like lime. And it's really good. Uh-huh. And it's only 80 calories of beer. Oh, that's cool. It so can help you with your weight loss. Yeah. Bob? Cut back to <laughs> ranch water. Yeah, cut back to ranch water. They should make a Wyoming type ranch water. Yeah. I would drink that instead. Call it mud hole or something. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever they can call it, windy something or other. Yeah, oh yeah, windy. Yeah. Because it, it blows your mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I am really ready for the wind to go away. Oh, me too. It's driving me crazy. I couldn't sleep last night. Because I'm dog. just yeah. They wake up in the middle of the night and just start barking at nothing, and I cannot oh, get him to calm man. down. Because he heard something. Do you have any animals? I do. I have a toy Yorkie. What's a Yorkie? Yorkie. Yorkie. Oh, a Yorkie. Toy Yorkie. <laughs> I'm like, what's a toy Yorkie? <laughs> I blended never my words. Heard of that yeah. before. It's one of those video game <laughs> animals. <or something. laughs> I killed it four times. <laughs> yeah, how you remember those little yes like, Tamagotchis or yeah. whatever the hell they are. Yeah. <laughs> But we love you, Brunchies. Hey, you guys do know where to get a hold of us. It's our Gmail, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, and whatever Alexa. other platforms. At Sunday Brunch with Bob and Ray. And all of our episodes are up 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so you can always catch up. But you can catch a brand new episode every Sunday at 10 in the morning. Um, but we're going to be taking a couple br- a couple weeks off because this is our final episode of the season. And I'm going to be going to Sweet Zoe's and getting some euros. Me too. Please do. Everybody come see us at yes. Sweet Zoe's. Mm-hmm. Everybody yes. there kicks ass. and The food is amazing. We'll make it beautiful for you. Yeah, it's amazing. And they serve breakfast. Yeah. Which I didn't know. That's awesome. Yep. I'll be there for sure. Um, so make sure that you guys tune in every single Sunday. Sunday at 10 and have a Merry Christmas, people. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We love you, Brunchies. And thanks for coming on, Aubrey. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Bye. Have a good day. You too. Get yourself a euro. Bobby needs a euro. Thank you for tuning in to Sunday Brunch with Bob and Ray.